Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. And Big Boy Simon here bringing you another episode of Burning Kabaddi. So I actually really really liked this episode. They made the train station their kabaddi practice. So Yogashi and Azumichi went out there. It was really cool. It actually gave... Have you watched the movie Tag? No. There's a movie called Tag out there and it gave me those kind of vibes which was really fun. I just want to say that I've watched three episodes now and I haven't even seen a kabaddi match yet. All I've seen is these sweaty guys doing some <laughs> training. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm enjoying it. It's mad. I feel like the creators have basically understood how unknown to their audience this game is and have actually really taken the time to fully in depth explain what kabaddi is and show the appreciation and my hat goes off to them. They've done a really good job in this one. Check your privilege, first of all. It's not an unknown sport. It's just unknown to us over here in the West. Well, okay? if you went, <laughs> since you were obviously born with no ears, <laughs> I said unknown to their audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, you think that they're out here making anime just for us? No, they make it anime. <laughs> you know what, shut up and say your point. Check my privilege, how dare you? <laughs> Oh my god, sorry. So, <laughs> Get out of here. oh my god, Yogashi understands that they have to work as a team, but he doesn't understand teamwork. And in this episode, he was really starting to get a grasp of what exactly teamwork is. Like, he knew that they had to work together, but he thought that he knew so much more than everybody else that he has nothing to learn from others. And Azumichi taught him that quick, fast, and in a hurry. I love the way Azumichi was just like, yo, I'm not just here to be ordered around by you. Let's get this right. Yeah, I got... um. This probably sounds weird, so guys, let me know in the comments if you think this sounds weird. But when I was younger and dating around and stuff, I didn't really... Uh, did you just call me a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Why I would you hurt my feelings like that? I didn't call you a hoe. I just said, hoeing. So while I was younger and <laughs> hoeing around, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> while I was younger and dating around and stuff, basically, it wasn't until, like, as I got more experience, I realised that there was two people in the situation. I was a bit selfish in that sense that, you know, they were there for me. Like, can you, can you stop? Can you, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to connect with the audience here. Yeah? Calm down, yeah? So, like, obviously, as you grow up, you realise that there are other people too and whatever. And most kids learn that at four, but obviously I didn't. And it was just... It's that kind of realisation when you realise, oh, snap, I'm not on my own sort of thing. I mean, like, let's be honest, Yogoshi is a, a very natural born leader and he, he understands the rigour of practice and honing his skills and getting better. He actually understands that. So it's not difficult to say that he's actually well equipped for the game. But as you said, man just didn't realise that it's not about him, it's about them. I would actually disagree with you. He is not a natural born leader. A leader should know how to work with others, know how to delegate things and not just order people around. So I would say that Yogashi is not a natural born leader. He is extremely intelligent in many facets. So he could have the potential to become a good leader, but who I would say is an amazing leader is Ida. And I actually think that it was a very smart choice to have the real captain of the team out of the picture for these first couple of episodes so that we can actually see how great Ida is. He is probably going to be the person who takes the team over in season two when if the current captain moves 
out of school he'll be the next leader and we can see that we can see how good he is at leading others and, and not just that but Date and also Mizumi are also really good teammates and I would say they're quite good leaders they were acting like the older brothers in the double match that they were having with Azumichi and Yogashi and instead of telling them what they were doing wrong they were showing Azumichi and Yogashi what they were doing wrong well okay I agree with you but I said what I said I think Yogashi is a natural born leader doesn't have to be a good leader because like obviously <laughs> to be a good leader you need practice but you've got the he's got the hallmarks he's decisive he makes choices he's got strategies and he's got always trying to get a route to win so those things are great starting blocks like it's natural obviously with nurture becomes great leaders but yeah i get you like we're kind of on the same page ish sort of i want to talk about the characterization of yogochi and i just butchered his name sorry guys i think that we have been given a very good masterclass in how to keep to someone's character he hasn't faltered in his character the whole way through even when learning new things it hasn't changed his character at all he's just embraced the new things and the moments have been just little sparks of intellect that have blossomed and it's great like it doesn't feel like oh the main character learned something new next episode they are a completely new character like it's very nice and well progressed and i know it's only been three episodes but you can see how smooth the progression is and i really really like that yeah i'd have to agree with you i actually like that they've made his flaws that he is so smart and so intelligent and they've actually made that weakness a lot of the times when we see anime characters that are just really smart they're just excellent all the way through and they don't really have too many obstacles and any obstacles are outside of themselves but yoigashi on the other hand problem is himself he is the problem and although he is so smart that is his downfall because he thinks he's too smart and here in this situation he probably has never had to deal with something like this like he obviously was playing soccer before there isn't that much that much on the go thoughts that they have to have because a lot of the times your coaches are going to teach you your plays the different things that you're going to be doing you guys are going to be practicing together and yes i know not that much about football don't kill me in the comment just leave me alone we're doing baddie right now <laughs> but with this <laughs> am i wrong yeah very but carry on <laughs> nah it's cool you can just let me dig my oh, grave you know what fine look okay you're saying his intelligence is his is his flaw I disagree like through that episode I didn't see his intelligence being this flaw I saw it being his strongest asset because with his intelligence he overcame the barrier his issue was his experience as a sports person as an athlete as a footballer as a failed teammate as a rising star like look even in the beginning of the episode they did a foreshadowing of letting us know that Date was actually a pro baseball player and he was going through literally a list of problems he was getting as the special one in his team and then they moved on to see how his actual experiences is what got him what got him out of it was his intelligence he realized he needed the things to do in it no i completely disagree because he was so smart he decided that he was going to tell azumichi everything that he needs to do and that he was just going to order him around and it wasn't until near the end of the episode when ira was like have you even watched azumichi at all and he hadn't because he thought that he was just so above everything and as soon as he actually watched how azumichi was moving because let's be honest azumichi is better at the game than he is he scores more points so at the end of the day, him thinking that he was so smart is what stopped him from actually progressing further, faster, because he just thought he knew everything and he didn't need to learn anything from anyone else. What kind of person is so smart that they are playing a brand new sport that they've only just heard about, but they think that they know all the things to do more so than the people that have been playing for years? I guess we're going to have to disagree on this one because at the end of the day, even he knows that he's not as good or as strong or as fast or as as Amici as everyone no, else no he just learned today <laughs> no he knew that from he days he learned man. today oh, well, you know what you know what Ruka you know what Ruka innit? I'm writing it go on carry on 
I think it's actually really cool seeing him start to develop a bit more but I do want to know a little bit more about the other characters because I do think that I know he's the main character but it is very Yoigashi heavy but the other characters are really interesting so please give us some more of that like I do want to see the rest of them they still need their set what is it seven players yeah something like that seven players yeah. so we aren't going to see any matches until they have their seven players let's get it going let's hear more about the other characters I'm not hating watching their practices it's really cool interesting and I'm, I'm loving it but I want to know more about the other characters why make interesting characters if we're not going to showcase them more wouldn't it be funny if the whole of season one doesn't even get to a match against another team it's all practices and getting new characters I don't think I'd mind yeah I'm, I'm, I'm actually like that I agree with that I think I would find it really refreshing that some anime has actually taken the time to build their universe do you get what I mean yeah and they're doing it very well I mean, this is 17 volumes strong. Guys, let us know if we should read the manga because like, I'm looking for something to read after I finish reading what I'm reading now. Well, I was actually recommended solo leveling on Instagram. So I think that's going to be my next. Let us know what you think <laughs> in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Peace.